We're here with three UMW Historic Preservation alumni who have been working on the staircase restoration, Sam Biggers, Hunter Shackelford, and Lawrence King. Gentlemen, we've enjoyed watching you all work on this, and we know that you've encountered lots of different stuff uh, as you've been uh, applying your skills to this project. How do you feel like the um, Historic Preservation Program training that you've gotten relates uh, to the work you've done on the staircase? Let's start with Sam. Um, I think a lot of classes, um, really from 101 up through some of the higher level classes that Professor Spencer teaches, um, really teach you a lot about materiality, understanding how materials work together. Um, a lot of these stones are Aquaia sandstone, which are very common in um, 18th and early 19th century buildings around town. And as we found, and as um, we can attest, it's very soft. Um, and so a lot of the deterioration that we saw that we tried to remedy here was a result of using Portland cement, which is incompatible with the soft stone. Um, so led to a lot of deterioration issues and also gave us a lot of challenges um, when doing this. But uh, I think that understanding of um, how materials work together and being able to diagnose um, issues based on that knowledge uh, has been very helpful. Hunter, what about you? What, what have you uh, um, experienced from this? I, it's, it's definitely been a project. Um, I think uh, it's been a little more challenging than we anticipated. We do a lot of stabilization in order to maintain a solid rebuild of this, uh, this porch here. Um, I think you know the school definitely helped um, Kind of prepare me, you know, for situations like this. Definitely nomenclature and kind of knowing what you're looking at, be able to date and age, uh, you know, different building materials or techniques that you find. You can kind of develop a blueprint, kind of other structure as you're disassembling or reassembling. So, I, yeah, that was definitely, definitely helpful um, for projects such as this. And Lawrence, you had a role with project management, kind of getting the initial design of how this would go set up. Um, what's it been like for you? Um, you know, going through the preservation courses. Uh, the application as far as uh, understanding the terminology. I did the initial write-up uh, for the proposal. So the terminology, understanding what the materials you were dealing with was definitely helpful. Also, uh, the documentation, photography, uh, labeling the stones and the material. So during removal, we could accurately place them back. It was truly helpful. And then I do a lot of uh, acquisition of materials. So I work with a numerous number of vendor, uh, vendors and uh, understanding the type of materials we're dealing with, the, the history of the area here, and the materials that were used 100, 150 years ago was definitely helpful dealing with the vendors to get the accurate uh, and adequate materials on site so that they could emplace them and give this awesome, fantastic new stone structure uh, the appearance it has now. So, um, all of y'all have made a decision to, to uh, work with Dominion Traditional Buildings Group and apply what you've learned into uh, what could be a, uh, a new career path. Certainly, it's where y'all are going now with the, the skill set that um, you're acquiring. Um, how do you feel about being in this sort of work, and, and particularly masonry, and, and do, you, do you have a good feeling about what you're learning in terms of skills that you'll be able to apply later? I would say absolutely. I think we have a lot of talented individuals um, on our team right now, especially a lot of our older, more experienced Masons, and it's always a pleasure to learn from them. And to take kind of what we learned in school and apply that and kind of mix that with the, the hands-on training that we that we use on a daily basis. Um, I think it's a unique career path, um, and it's something that really shouldn't be overlooked um, if someone's kind of looking to you know, get into anything uh, preservation-related. Well, gentlemen, thank you, and, and coincidentally, we're recording this on Veterans Day, so to Lawrence and Hunter, our two veterans, thank you for your service, and we're glad that uh, you're giving some service back to your alma mater as well, and Sam as well, on this and other projects, in Sam's case, for, for another company. So thanks very much, and um, good luck. Thank you.